Hi everybody, welcome back to Gemma and George. In today's video, we're going to Langkawi. We've been living in Penang, Malaysia since August 2023 and today we are driving to Langkawi to eventually get to no, Koli Pit. No, we're not driving, we're going on the boat. We've got to drive to the boat. Oh. <laughs> so you can see all the stuff behind me. So basically it's a two and a half hour drive from Penang <laughs> to the car ferry. I'm getting the car ferry over to Langkawi. We're staying there for the night and then the next day we're catching another boat to Koh Lipe and we're going to share our adventures with you. Yes George? Are, are, we, gonna, are we gonna drive for the bike? Oh in Thailand? Maybe. Yeah! Do, 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 do. Let the adventure begin! Just trying to pack up the car now. We're trying to be on the road by half past eight, so it's in time with Fred's. Everything packed for two weeks, three islands. We've pre-booked the car ferry across to Langkawi. It leaves at half past one. We have to be there two hours before, so we have to be there at 11.30. It's now 8.30 on the dock. We're just gonna go and grab a coffee and then drive there. Fred hopefully will have a nap in the car which will make it good and hopefully traffic will be clear. We booked a return car ferry online weeks in advance because Nathan knew that this would be a really busy season with the Easter holidays. In total, it was just shy of £100 return. Charge is broken down by the driver and the car, and then me as an extra adult, and then for Fred and for George, which were also different prices. Just approaching a toll booth. A lot of the roads in Malaysia, you just pay a few ringgit and you pay using this touch and go. And beam you through there. One ringgit. One ring get an absolute bargain. From our experience, traffic in Penang is horrendous, especially on a weekend. Just found that lots of people drive, nobody walks, there's bikes, there's lorries, there is limited use of indicators. Um, coming from England, you know, you're overtaking a certain lane, you don't undercut here, there's no rules. You've just got to be ready and prepared for anything. We've seen quite a lot of, well, the aftermath, I would say, of some pretty intense um, crashes. So that's why we've decided to leave early and to take George out of school early also, so we can try and get there and avoid the majority of the traffic. things to note about using the R&R &R bathroom here you'll notice there's a box of tissues behind me when coming to the toilet there's no toilet roll in the actual cubicles you've got to come in grab your tissue and then find your bathroom stall you can normally choose between a seated toilet or a standing toilet which looks like this and you kind of take your clothes off and then you'll squat there again there's no toilet roll in the toilet you use the hose to flush down and you don't flush your toilet paper down the toilet instead you'll find a bin inside the cubicle so hot today. Always keep the air con running. Big Nathan's just feeding Fred. Hello. We're feeding Fred in the car because there's no air conditioning areas inside. George has just had a chocolate croissant and he's buzzing. Hi Fred. All sorted? She didn't say much, you just give her this, she gives it a stamp, then she gives you this piece of paper, and then just says, drive through at 12.30. So I'm just going to have a look and see where we actually have to drive. Someone's taken a beautiful Ferrari over to Langkawi. So now we've just got to hang out in the car until 12.30. Another Ferrari's just got off. 
Okay, so we definitely think that because it's tax free or duty free in Langkawi, there's some guys that were just stood next to me and then they've been waiting, the boats arrived, there's brand new cars and a guy's just got off giving him some keys and check out these cars. Nice Mercedes there. And that car is so new, the paperwork's still attached to the window. It's nice. Is that another Ferrari there, a yellow one? I feel like we're in an episode of Fast and Furious or Gone in 60 Seconds. We're just sitting here waiting, seeing Ferrari after Ferrari after Ferrari. have a little look so you can stay in your car or you can go into the lounge oh that aircon's lovely big leather seats so just making yourself at home aren't you close so this would have been a shop a close you can get some food prayer room pretty basic We need a wee. <laughs> Let's go and check these toilets out. It's a squatter. Come on, Ingram. That's to make it not smell so bad. So this is how you flush the toilet. is another Ferrari in that truck, a Bentley. I'm in a gower, yeah! <laughs> We're on our way to our hotel. It's about a 15 to 18 minute drive. Everything on the ferry was really smooth, a nice crossing. And now we can spend one night here before we catch another ferry to Koh Lipi in Thailand. We're gonna leave the car here, we don't know where yet, um, but we're really looking forward to coming back to Langkawi after Koh Lipi and exploring. So we've booked this room online, it was just under 30 British pounds, 50 Singapore dollars. It's basic, but it's really near to the ferry terminal without breaking the bank. That's nice view. <laughs> Definitely squeaky. Someone left their shoe. Where? Here. Right next to See that green oh, yeah. house? There's the shoe. Weird. The rain has disappeared and we've got a beautiful sunset and being serenaded by the call to prayer. Giving Fred a bath and that's us for the night. It's been a really long day. I think we're all tired. 
the ferry to call leap here tomorrow is at half past 10. I'm gonna get Fred to go to sleep, have a shower myself, and then done, chill out. So good night from us, we'll see you in the morning. Good night.